everybody came they smooth back with another video and i just got done taking this out to the bus stop i take night to the bus stop but listen man i'm standing there and i'm wondering why everybody looking at me all crazy and stuff right and guess what i realized why i forgot man look at that look at that now look at this now look at that You know what happened? All right, I was shaving right, <laughs> and clippers died. I wanted to use the other clippers for the whole thing, and I got started, but it died on me. So I got charging up, and I forgot that I started, and it died on me. So that's just crazy. Now I'm out here looking crazy. Like real crazy. I'm out here on my neck. But this whole one little side right here. Clean. It's clean. Oh. We got way too charged to fix that up. And right now I'm trying to organize stuff still. Ew. This is crazy stuff. It's just so much on the table right now. So much stuff on my plate. And it seems like everybody else keeps trying to put stuff on my plate too. So. I'm just gonna have to bear through it and do what I do. I gotta fix the car, all types of stuff. Sometimes when it rains, it pours. So you get rainbows. Boy, you get rainbows. You get money at the end of this, man. You know what I'm saying? Make everything better. See, see some game. We're doing all this and locking in the situation with my wife, you know? If I persevere through this and actually make it happen, you know what I'm saying? Create special moments and stuff. My money come up if, you know, we succeed. We're selling off everything, things like that, man. It's just nothing but opportunities. So you got to grit your teeth, put your head down, get to work, and be happy. You know what I'm saying? What up, what up? So that's what we're going to do. Um, Right now, going through some life planning stuff. Um, writing down goals and stuff like that, you know, listening, I'm watching different lectures, stuff, studying, just kicking back studying this morning. I was asleep all day yesterday. Sorry for those little phone calls I ain't answered for the last three days. I've been knocked out. I'm not going to lie to you. But then I'll be up like around like 12 one o'clock and then start doing my day and stuff like that and i'm getting tired again so i fix my sleep schedule gotta get to my workout regiment my workout plan and that's what we're doing that's why i'm sitting here planning out what i want to do what i gotta do and things like that writing everything down because it's a lot so i gotta get organized and i need to organize my office too create some space in there so with that being said we'll let go and dang ain't no light out here man it's dark out here phone about to die i need my camera charged i got equipment i'm not using it i've been on the pc in a minute so hopefully all that change I think I already started this video yesterday, but we go on. We got stuff we gotta finish doing. Uh, yesterday, I ended up not catching it and recording it because I didn't want to jinx anything. But we finally got this right here to the Jeep fix, and I'm so happy that I don't have to. Your new radiator. And I'm gonna tell you how. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do a whole separate video on it. But the stuff that I use, it worked. 
but I ended up using two bottles and then I got another bottle of this stuff. So you now I got the trunk closed and stuff. Well, ain't gotta worry about that. It's not leaking no more or anything like that. But we got a whole bunch of stuff. Well, not a whole bunch of stuff. I put the other stuff in there. The other brand that I was saying I should have got that was cheaper. It wasn't the other brand. It was a um another type just for the radiator. I put that in there. But oddly enough, before I put it in there, the um, car has stopped. I meant, had, yeah, it stopped leaking a little bit. But hold on. So, yeah, it stopped leaking. And the reason why it stopped leaking, because I guess the um, bars actually worked its way through and got to that corner and started sealing it up. But it was still over here. So I didn't know it stopped leaking. Until I got there, I was like, oh, it's not leaking. And then I bought the other stuff with the pellets in it. And started putting it in there. And then I noticed, I looked at the, um, I looked at the antifreeze overflow chamber. And... I noticed that there was no antifreeze in it. So I guess all the antifreeze stripped out and the stuff sealant finally made it to that corner. Like it finally built up in that corner because all the stuff was gone. All the antifreeze was gone, so it had no choice but to go to that corner and seal it up. That's what I'm thinking in my mind. But I also know that the one with the pellets is the one that stops them leaks and cracks. It's a specialized formula. But it stopped leaking before the pellets got in the system because I had I couldn't get the pellets down. So I still put the pellets in there. And I had to, like, come all the way back to the house because I couldn't get the pellets down. So I had to wait and try to get the pellets down, ground them down a little bit, and push them in or whatever, put the cap on there. Came back to the house, and then... I didn't have any antifreeze at the house. Thought I had some antifreeze at the house. Didn't have any antifreeze at the house, so I put some water in it to um, dissolve the pellets. They say you can use warm water to dissolve the pellets anyway. And I put the, and it was some in the bottle still, like half pellet, half many pellets in the bottle still. So I put some warm water in there. Started shaking up, dissolved it. Put some water. I had a half a bottle antifreeze. I thought I had a football. Put that in there. Put the water in there. And now we Gucci. And it was not over here. So. That's how I fixed the radiator. That's exactly how I fixed the radiator. I'm going to. um Take the two clips. From Privio. Put it with this. And. That's my video. That's all we got to do. Right now, we got to go get some milk, man. See, I just did a whole video. So, from this video, from this vlog. Okay. We doing good. Now, other thing that we want to talk about today, the theme of the day is workflow. And I want to do a podcast about workflow also today and when we talk about workflow the main thing is time having the time to set up and have a good workflow because it's a lot of things that you have to consider with being a content creator, any type of content creator. And it's just things that you have to just black out and ignore. It get real deep in this game because 
people don't understand that you literally working. You get what I'm saying? And the more you treat it like a job, a company and a business, the more they'll start treating it like a job, a company, a business. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to start real quick. Get some things. I pick up a tire too today. What's up? I keep this on the charger though because it's about to die. A couple things that I remember. Got some milk. Want that hoodie right there? Think about getting it. Yeah, hello, hello, yeah, hi, yeah. All right, I'm back. This is gonna park in the wrong spot. What's up? Pulling up in there here. We parked all the way out there and shit. That get crazy. So if I hit them right, I'll be wrong. Uh, he parked right in the mouth for that bitch. Because somebody else told me he got fucked up. So that's one thing about workflow is blocking out the time for your workflow because people are going to want to do things won't want you to do things and a lot of times they're gonna think you ain't doing nothing sometimes they're gonna think you're wasting your time the bigger you make this the bigger people realize it is look I'm all ashy I just washed my hand I'm gonna get plus motion on it but the bigger you make this the bigger people think that that it is if you're not making this seem big, if you're not making a big deal out of it, I'm not saying panicking or anything like that, but you gotta make it a full blown production, people are not gonna think that it's big like that. You know? And that's like the honest truth to it. And it depends on the situation also. Because if you have a significant other and you out creating content, things like that, and you marry or you live with your significant other, if they're not a part of it, they're not gonna understand what in the world is going on. Especially when you first start. When you first start, no one's gonna really understand what's going on unless they like down with the culture. You know what I'm saying? Like the YouTube culture and stuff like that. Or the creator culture, content creating culture. 
see my generation was raised in the beginning stages, beginning phases of this culture. I'm 36. When all this stuff started, I was in middle school, high school, where everything just started. So when I, when everything first started, wasn't nobody really getting paid. Everybody's trying to figure out where can this go and how can, how to get paid off of this stuff. You get what I'm saying? I was supposed to go in this other parking lot. Trying to figure out turn around and down this alley. And they're back here working. Make sure they working. I'm telling that they back here working. Anyway, <laughs> Man, they back here working hard. But anyway, a lot of this stuff was just being generated and born, and now it's a generation that is being raised up. And this new era of content creation, whole new era of content creation, it's called Web3. So not only is it a new era of content creation, it's a new era of computer technology. A new era of development. A new de a new era of platforms. And we've been raised up in it, kind of. And kind of understand it. But now it's more immersive. Meaning that you're in it. It's been around. You know. But now instead of now instead of you viewing it through a screen, you can view it through your eyes. You can feel and touch it more. You know what I'm saying? So now it's a whole thing of you figuring out where you fit in and how your workflow is going to be within the space because now more so you're detaching yourself from the world and emerging yourself into a whole new world. And it's going to come a point where everything is going to merge together. Where you're going to have to figure out your workflow of adding Web 2 with Web 3. And that's going to be important. I'll be back in a minute. So, I'm going to tell you my strategy, what I'm trying to do right now, man. I'm trying to figure out everything I want to do. This is why I want to move so bad, because I've seen it coming. I've been seeing, um, all right, listen, this is all about workflow still, but I've been seeing this era coming for a long time and I've been seeing developments in it 
because uh, the website had Web Empire Cam, and I still have it. It's just not up and running like that. It's hard to get to, and I don't really have anybody working for me or anything like that right now. But my partners that I partner with, they still have stuff going, and I'm trying to sever the partnership, kind of. Or develop a new relationship. Like, reinvent the relationship with them. Because I realize the full blown capabilities of Web3. Before, we had no vocabulary, no definitions, and right now is where everybody's starting to define things and try to take over and position yourself and put space. And this deal with workflow because you're going to have to figure out how to work within these environments. And learn technology now. Just think about it. Video is changing. It already changed. So. If you don't know how you live. 360 cameras and 180 cameras and things like that. And upgrade your game now and get it into it now as a content creator. Oh, you're gonna lose because it's gonna it, because it's people who are already using technology already in that platform, knowing how everything go, working on it. See all the new changes and things that's coming in, and they're already establishing itself in that environment. So you're gonna have to figure this out. Now with my own planning and my life goals and stuff like that, what I was developing was a strategy of what I want to do. And on the first list, first part was figuring out where I'm at and what I have. And I'm still creating this list of things. And we're going to have a show on figuring this out. Because you don't really realize the resources you have, the partnerships you have, things that you could do until you actually sit down and think about it and write them down. You don't really realize your reach. You know what I'm saying? And the main thing you want to focus on also is creating jobs for people, especially in time like this. Where everything is changing. So. With that, all that being said. The workflow. That's the key. Figuring out your resources, the things you have, and where you started from. 
And I really want you to sit down and make a list of this stuff. Because you do not actually realize what you have or what you can do. You're going to have things you want to get. That's your next list of things you want to get and have and do and be and you know, all this stuff. Those other lists, but what you have now, is important, especially if you got time. That's real important. A second list, which is dealing with workflow, is my time schedule. What does my time schedule look like? So throughout this week, and actually I'm doing this for throughout this month, I'm blocking out the time and schedule see what I actually did what I'm actually doing throughout a course of a day now I'm good at this what I do is I get up I pray I have to block out time for exercise the other thing is while I start getting ready for my day, I go to YouTube and I start watching videos on content creating or on finance, something. I start learning and taking notes. First things that I do, pray and learn. So while I'm getting ready, while I'm feeding the kids. And everything like that. Alright, hold on. I'm over here on West Main right now. Getting a little tired. I don't know his name yet. I'm getting to know him. But yeah, man. I'm getting this tire fixed. I fixed the radiator. We already got that tire over there done. But yeah. He don't really be minding if we in the um, car, if I'm in the car. You just, I just come in, pull up, and change the tire. I'm, I'm out. Now, these are new tires. You got some used tires. Cheap, $35 for used tire. But yeah, that's where we at. On West Main, across the street from the gas station, where they used to have um the Boost Mobile Store used to be next door. So yeah, we got a couple people working in here. My man got his lunch all the way up there. <laughs> That's funny. That's real funny. So yeah, man. I'm gonna get done with this, little papa. It's going to be very important for you to figure this out. Man. Now I'm going to drop milk off. I'm about to drop milk off now. But they got pee like also. So. Thank you. That was fast, man. <laughs> Quick. Like that. It did help, man. That goes over here. 
they hand in this paperwork. That's right behind me. things you do is create a lot of content and basically one go. So like right now I'm vlogging. And this is something you gotta remember when you editing that certain clips you want for certain things. So I'm vlogging and I didn't stop the camera just now. But while I'm vlogging, I'm doing this podcast too at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So both are based upon workflow. There's just certain things I'm going to have in the podcast, certain clips, and certain clips I'm going to have in the vlog. When I go through and edit, I'm just going to chop it up. Make sure I'll actually look at it like fully edited the video not just paste it together as you go through and look at cuts and stuff like that and just remember I gotta cut them up for two different things one for the podcast one for the vlog you get what I'm saying make life easier Make life way easier. You want things to be simple and easy for you. You want to make it stressful. You want to put together little ways, little systems to make things way easier. Therefore, you ain't got stress about it. And you got to figure out what works for you also. Because some things that work for some people don't necessarily work for others. Some things that work for you not gonna work for somebody else. So you gotta go through your day and figure it out. The major part of the game, any part of the game, any level of the game, any game, is you gotta figure out things. Figure out your system, your way. Yeah, you're gonna read, you're gonna study, you're gonna learn a lot. But if it don't work for you, there's no sense of struggling with it or trying to continue doing that. You got to find out what works for you, what you like, and what is quality for you, what creates more quality for you, and your workflow, your way of life. Come on, man. I know you ain't pulling up in there. You don't pull it up in there. 
because at the end of the day, you're the one who got to go through that stuff. And, and you lies what you need to utilize and do what you need to do to make it happen. And you're going to have to figure out how can you better your quality and your content and keep it tension. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to figure out what works for you. A lot of people don't have the time for certain things or the capability to do certain things. They don't have the know-how for certain things. So they have to learn. You know I mean? And that's where the figuring out part comes in place. Because you're going to have to figure all that out. What you got time for. What you can learn. When you're going to have time to learn it, you're going to fit your head on. Exactly. Yeah, I don't actually uh, uh. Alright, I'm up here dropping off some paperwork. I'll be back with y'all in a minute. Twitter. Twitter. What are you doing? Twitter. What are you doing? That's all the chocolate syrup. No, don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Just stay right there. I got to change you. No. Let's see if you guys look, look at this. Get up. Stop licking the floor. Get off the floor. Stop playing in it. Let me clean this up.